What are we doing today? Four-wheeler stuff. What are we doing on the four-wheeler? Uh, taking the thing out of it because it went bad. What, the fuel pump? Yeah. Okay. What kind of four-wheeler is it? A 500 Arctic Cat. Yeah. Speed rig TM. So we need to take the seat off. We need to take the back plastic off to get to the fuel pump and there. Sweat. We did this not too long ago, didn't we? Oh yeah. Yep. We weren't recording it. Right, but we bought a fuel pump from the local store and it's already gone bad again. Something about doing wheelies on these four wheelers, they don't like them. Yep, because they're actually doing wheelies with me on it. You All right, it. let's take the seat off and get started. Well, we, then we have all the tools we need to get it done. I've done this before. Have you? We've got to, uh, we've got to have that clear so we can get that back plastic off of it. I'll just put this down here. Are you the one doing wheelies on this four-wheeler? Heck no. I'm not doing that. <laughs> You're the person that's doing all the What? Wheelies. You like riding it? Yeah. So what tool do we need? We'll have to get them out of the black toolbox. What tools do we need? A Torx bit. Yeah. And then a 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter, yeah. And then we need a five millimeter? No, we need, I think it's a 12 millimeter wrench and an extension, right? Would you find that here? And then for Christmas, because we do Christmas on Christmas Eve, Today we opened our presents today. Yep, Mama got me a new impact drill. Okay, so we need certain tools, and we need the ten, and then I'm pretty sure we need the three four. This one? Nope, the one four. One. That's a quarter. It's right here. A one. And then we need the wrench. The wrench. 12, mil 12 millimeter wrench. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need one more thing. Down in the bottom? Nope. We need this thing. What's that called? A wrench. Ratchet. Ratchet. Yep. This? Yep. What's that called? Uh. Extension. Extension, yes. Because it extends your reach. And we need. Yep, because that's got the Torx bits in it. And then we need this thing. And then the little ratchet. This thing. Nope. Yeah, the little ratchet. The little ratchet. Yep. Okay, I think we have everything we need, or pretty close. And then Mama. Is we're gonna have to go eat soon. Yeah. Got me this. Yeah, my mom is really nice. And I got a pocket, I got- That's my pocket knife. So, hey, what size is the wrench supposed to be? 13, we messed it up. My dad did 12 and then went to 14. You don't have to bring me into uh, this. And then, then 13. Well, you're the one that did it, so. Okay, so, this one? Yep. Put it on there, hold it. You may hold it for you while you do the top. Okay. I got it. Do the top. Whoa, you got it. Yeah. It sounded like a big fart. <laughs> it sounded like what? A big fart. <laughs> okay, now we go to the next one. Now it's loose, isn't it? We got to get our tools off there. I think we've got to take these out. Those two, and then we have to take these loose, take them out on both sides. Screwdriver. So we, and then we have to take the fuel cap off so we can push it up just enough to get to the fuel, fuel uh, to the fuel pump. I can do this part. There we go, fuel cap. This isn't the right way to do it. You're supposed to take it all the way off, but, but we don't want to work that hard. 
smells good. Are you sniffing fuel? It smells good. <laughs> All right, that's enough. You're gonna hurt yourself. Hey, that's gotta be picked up so we can't lay, lay anything on there. Righty tighty lefty loosey. Oh, you know how to switch it? Oh, this thing. Wait, this thing? Yep. Nope. Do you, you not want to hear that? Nope, there you go. Broke it loose. Now, you can hear that. Watch. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, so we finished it. Well, we got enough of those out. <laughs> we got enough of those out. We need to take these side covers off. Oh, these things? Yep. I've done this before. Pull harder. Ah, guys, we got it. Okay, got that side. Go to the other side. Okay, we got it picked up. We have to kind of wiggle it over. The fuel fill. Wiggle, wiggle. You also have to unplug the tail light so that it'll go up far enough. Then you have access to the fuel pump. It's another Torx bit. You uh, take the fuel line off. You can leave it on, but it's easier if you take the fuel line off. Take those loose, and it comes right out. Wait, what things loose? These are well, uh, yeah, those have to come off too. That way it gets that out of the way. Just enough to get the wrench in there. I mean, you can do it without it, but it gets the wrench in hey, there. Hey, yeah, I have a question. Comment down below your favorite car. Your favorite car? That's not a question. Yeah, it is. Comment down below your favorite car. Oh, okay. Mine's you want... Lamborghini. His is obviously a hot rod. A hot rod? <laughs> no, I think That covers a whole lot of cars, don't it? Oh, yeah. Yep. There's a Most Nova people... back there in the background that... Oh yeah, this car. There's this car. Yep. Then there's this car. What's that? This is a racing car. Yeah? Is it a Mustang? Yes. Wait. Yeah, it is. It is? Oh yeah. How's gonna say? This one is That's it should say on the front. A Chevrolet. A Chevrolet. Nova. Nova. What uh we have <laughs> She's a crazy one. Okay. We have that yeah. off there. Nope, you don't grab that bar. Where's the fuel pump? Fuel pump is under here. So you grab that, you pull it out easily. Ew, smells yeah. good. Yep. Easy. Kind of got to turn it sideways. And... If you're watching at home, this is fascinating. Oh, let's drain the fuel in the end of there. It's so fascinating. Smells really good. Put that oh, over here. Don't smell that gross. So now we have to take this apart to get that little fuel pump out right there. I know how you take it apart. Do you? <laughs> I did this. We do it the easy way. Get that refrigerator. I think you gotta take. If I remember right, here, hold this. Just put it on just just this. This smells so good. Oh, you better quit that. Take this off. Ah, okay, this has to come off first. You gotta shove, that's it. You gotta shove a little screwdriver under there. Stop, I don't wanna smell it. I'm I don't wanna smell die. it. I'm gonna die. Well, you just, there you go. It goes up, comes off. Like that. This comes up right there. Like that. Then you can turn it sideways really easily. Like that. Then. Dad, you could find that meme. Slide that down. Unplug that. Somehow. There it's coming. Unplug that. There's the fuel pump. All that is just. Jump. 
Yeah, pretty much. But this went bad. We have to replace it. With a what? A new one. So what happened was this four-wheeler it started popping. You guys thought it was a gunshot, didn't you? Oh, yeah. And then it was I was just die. outside playing football, and then I just hear, I was like, did my dad just die? <laughs> and then it popped. It wouldn't start. It wouldn't run. And then we went to my junior drag race. You guys know I race. Um, when we went to Rogersville to go there, because I was going to race that day, we the, we had to take my uh, our, my grandma's uh, ranger there. So he could pull, tow me back yeah. after I race because I turned this and then my dad tows me back with the four Because wheel. this little dude went bad. I replaced it and it's and under warranty, thankfully, but this one went bad. This is how you replace a fuel pump in an EFI 2013-14 Arctic Cat 500. What are you doing? I want to smell that. I don't want to die. Oh, okay. So we're back from there, and we have that thing out now. So now we can continue. Okay, Dad, what do we start with? We got the new part, didn't we? Yep. Okay, it's this one right here. Could you just sniff that? This and take that out of the bag. Be careful with it. That's the new fuel pump. Are oh, you just spit that at me? You just spit that at me. <laughs> Are you avoiding that question? No. Okay, take the deals off the end of it. Boop. Okay, now we put it in here. You gotta make sure the hot side goes to the hot side. When this came in, the last fuel pump came in, it was wired backwards, so I made it to where it works right. So, hot to hot. So that's hooked up. Then this, when you push it up, goes into that little tube right there. This does. Now make sure all the wires are out of the way so it fits right. Push it up there. Like Did that. you just fart? No, that was the, the tube up there. Duber. Take this here. You gotta line this up. It will line up like that right there. So you line that step and that step up. Like the piece right there, does that hook up yep. to anything? It does? Uh, this right here, or this? Yeah. Yeah, yes. it hooks up to a wire in the four wheeler. And, yep, this one right here. We'll hook that back up in, in a little bit. Okay. So then you twist this until it pops like that. Now it's locked into place. You take this, which this is the float, tells you how much fuel you have. You set it in here. There's these little notches right here and right there. You set it in there and then you push it down until it snaps into place. Now it's ready to get this piece right here and it goes on there like that and if you guys want us to start it if we finish you gotta get, get us to 13k likes on this video if you want us to start the fort 13k later. yep there's like 12 people watch this thing hey it doesn't hurt to try <laughs> okay so that's on there now and that's the float and we'll do now, a video in summer all about it. So when this goes in the four wheeler, that goes to this side of the four wheeler, okay. like this. You got to kind of jimmy it in there, like that. Make sure you don't break off this float. Like Stick that. it there. Okay. Now before we button everything back up. We'll hook up the fuel line. It's a quick disconnect. It's kind of tricky. To unhook it, you push it in a little bit, tricky. then push this little piece, and then you pull out. So right now, I'm just gonna push it in until it pops there, it snaps. 
we'll run this under just so we have it there and hook that up like that. Okay, so we have everything um, hooked up fuel pump wise. So this may take a second because there's air in the fuel line, but it's running. We'll do this a couple times. You can hear it running. Yeah, we put this little ring back on there. Oh crap, I should have put that on there before the I put the fuel line. So I'll have to take all that back apart. Oh wow. Yeah, but all this for nothing. Well that wasn't nice. Well, we did do a lot of work, so Yeah. It was but something. We'll get this button back up. And then you start to put the body back on, put this little piece right here back on, and once you get all that, then you just tidy everything up, and it should take a little bit to start because of the air in the fuel lines, but once and it's going, the weather. yeah, it's cold. Once we were in the battery den, the spark plug, we found out that the spark plug needed to fix it. Spark plug wasn't firing, so we need to we'll sand down the tip a little bit. Right in. It, we can sand that down and see if it'll get a spark. You hook the plug wire up to it, ground this against the frame or a piece of metal, and see if it'll spark. We did check the coil with a screwdriver by grounding it out, and it worked. It had plenty of spark, so the spark plug's bad. You're crazy. We found out. Sandpaper, and I sanded down the little end there on the bottom side and the top side. So the way to test this is you hook it up into the spark plug wire like that, and you bump it against that to ground it out. So you hold that against a piece of metal to ground it out, and you'll see a little spark there. Do not touch the spark plug or it'll shock you. So we'll turn that on. I don't think you'll get electric powers. That's not how it works. You ready? <laughs> yes. Oh, there it had a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wait for the a battery little, to a, charge. A yellow box just appeared on your head. <laughs> I did it again. Probably taking pictures of me for the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do it again. Oh my gosh, you scared me. Okay, it arcs. But not when it's grounded. Oh man. And it will shock you. <laughs> it just shocked you, didn't it? I think we need a new spark plug. 